right, Pinky Bear. I just realized that my audio wasn't working. And I was uh, making sure to get that fixed. Thank you for the host. Demon! Congratulation congratulations on being first. On first place. How are you guys today? And Pinky, congrats on being second. Welcome in, guys. I made sure to get the Twitch hat uh, all updated, so I am finally back to being current on that. You got your first Twitch payout! Congratulations! Hope it was a good one for you. I know that they... I think they lowered the payout level to... 50 instead of 100? I'm not sure if that has already gone into effect. But, um... It's, it's always a thrill to get that first payout. I haven't gotten one in a while because I haven't had many subs stick around, but uh, that, that's fine. I'm not here for the money anyways. It's never about the money. It's about sharing the games that I enjoy with you guys. So, and um, I've been enjoying trying this game out. Uh, AI Sound Files is a game that is brand new, and um, I enjoy the first one. So, I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit. It's a can't hear myself think. There we go. Paul, congratulations on being third. Welcome in. How are you today, my friend? Also, um, I don't remember if I mentioned Pinky, but I, us I usually stream at this time uh, on Saturdays. I just haven't been all that constant lately because pregnancy throws me for a loop. Oh my, hot and sweaty. Paul. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Hi, Tiz. How are you doing? Yeah, you missed all three. There's like a delay between when I actually go live and when the notification gets sent out. I've noticed that. Um, I've Specifically, I've noticed that with Paul's stream because like... Pinky and I will camp his stream and make sure that uh, we are, like, fighting for first. It's pretty funny. But there's, like, I don't know, like a five minute delay almost. Because by the time you actually get the phone notification for it, it's just like, no, you, you're, you're too late at that point. So my cat is currently checking out all of <laughs> She was like, oh no, I'm in trouble! And just bolted. Because I mentioned her. Um, but what happened is today I woke up and I had energy. So I... I just started cleaning and cleaning because I had yarn all over my room. And I was tired of having urine all over my floor. But I can actually see... I can actually see yarn. Or, not yarn. I can see floor. Thank you everyone for donating to the Vintage Cosplay. We are... Did it say 50% of the way there? Cool beans. Well, peanuts, actually. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, let's see. What am I missing? Um, you tend to stay lurking because you're foul-mouthed. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. I appreciate you uh, not being foul-mouthed in my stream. I do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I lurk on Paul's stream a lot. Um, Mumu ch pulled out the charger. No! That's not good. 
I'll get first more often because you're going into full-time employment. Congrats on getting your uh, full-time job, but um, I don't know that I will always be able to get first because uh, I have less and less time to myself uh, in the next two months. Maybe less than that. We'll see. But, uh... So, if... If kiddo comes three weeks early, that puts it in late September. And, uh... But if she comes on time, then, um... That puts it... Like, first week or so of, uh, October. And I don't know what my schedule is going to be like. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream. I don't know if I'm going to want to stream. I might just be staring at my baby's face for like the first two weeks going, I made this. What the heck? What did, what did I make? Who knows? We don't know. I will probably just be rolling with the punches uh, depending on how she comes out, whether or not I end up having to have a major medical surgery to uh, receive her, or if I am able to have her uh, with regular stuff. Oh yeah, Eeyore is chilling with the elephants. I didn't realize that was visible on stream, but uh, he's just chilling right now. But uh, yeah. And uh, Grandpa Biggs is over in the corner where he's off stream or off screen because I because of said cleaning rage. But yeah, um, let's see. I'm, like hyperactive. The uh, um, funniest thing about today is that my father-in-law contacted me and was like, hey, uh, we're bringing the crib over and we're going to set it up. I'm like, uh, no, you're not. Uh, not going to set it up, at least. Because um, the nursery is still not fully painted and uh, my husband wants to completely get the carpet replaced and we don't know when the carpet is going to get replaced yet. So nothing is going in that room until that happens. But yeah, um, lots of stuff is happening. Lots of um, moving pieces and mar uh, different parts. Um, but it's all very exciting. Trying to decide on a horror game you want to buy. What game do you want to buy? Is it something that Paul's played? Or is it something that uh, you've mentioned before? Because honestly, I kind of... I don't know. I kind of want to try out the Mortuary Assistant, but I don't know if... I, I might be too chicken. I might be too chicken for that game. Because... I mean, it's... I have a huge phobia of dead bodies. Not gonna lie. And, uh... Yeah. Alright. So... It is actually time for us to start a, our video game. You can't conceive us as me being too chicken. You haven't seen me try to watch, uh, ch watch or play uh, Slenderman or um, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. You're looking for suggestions? You, uh, you already beat Mortuary Assistant? Oh, okay. Um... I don't know if this is a, uh, I don't know if I would call it a horror game, but, um, <laughs> oh, seven. Um, but yeah, what I was saying, I don't know if I would call this a horror game, but if you're into it, if you need a suggestion, I would recommend uh, a game called The Witch's House. Um, I played The Witch's House a while back. It was like, I don't know, half a year ago? Maybe uh, more than that? But it is actually a decent game. And it has some pretty decent jump scares. Um, 
it's kind of got that uh, RPG Maker look to it, but it's pretty decent. Um, it was one of the first uh, games. Actually, no, I I think it is on Steam, but uh, the well, yeah, the remaster is on Steam. The original you can actually download for free if you look hard enough on Google. And um, actually, if you if you send me a DM on uh, Discord, I can probably uh, come and try to figure out where it is. But uh, yeah, the first death is so much worse. Oh, jeez. But uh, Tiz, don't go spoiling parts of the game. Don't don't be a spoiler. Anyways, it is time for us to start the video game, so um, let's go go ahead and get on into it. <laughs> yeah, don't be a spoiler, Tiz. Alright, reminder, this game is a uh, flashy game, so if you are someone who has ep epilepsy or any kind of seizures, you might not want to watch this game, but uh, that is at your own discretion. But I figured I'd give you a heads up. Alright, let's get this game set up. AI the Somnium Files, Game Capture, Launch, Capture the correct game, please. Meow. Meow. Yes, I hear you, cat. Alright, load game. Thank god this thing has a... Uh, thank you. Cheers. This game has a recap. I forgot entirely what we did last game. Uh, manual save... Yes. Load. Hi, kitty. Want to see a cat? I'll back you up until you're satisfied. Bringing someone who has already passed back to life. Look, Ryuki. Please just don't cause any problems. Yeah. Let's transcend this world. It's orange juice. <laughs> Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? Anyway, let's talk to Gen and Shoma. You're being difficult. This is my kitty. This, this is Serenity. Alright, so I completely missed everything that just happened. Because I was fiddling with the cat. I got a bunch of fur in my face. Whew. And I still didn't take my sip of hydration. Uh, depends on how personal it is. What's the question? <clears throat> is it stream safe? <laughs> but, uh, let's see. What were we doing? Buzzer. Okay, question for you. What do you get when you change the D's and Diddy to T's? Tama! <laughs> how does the cat react to the baby bump? Uh... She doesn't really react. In fact, uh, she, she she accidentally scratched it recently because I was trying to, you know, pick her up and she didn't want to be picked up. And so flail and uh, I haven't um, I haven't cut her nails recently. And uh, so the, the belly got a little bit scratched, but luckily it wasn't too deep. Uh, did he? Oh, come on. Say it. <laughs> Uh, answer button for the quiz. Machine part. Remote control. Okay, question for you. No, you're fine. What do you call an older woman who can't keep her hands off you? I know the answer to that one. Uh, a masseuse. Sure. No, the answer is cougar. What? <laughs> Come on. Jeez. Oh. Tama! Oh, 
There's more Imon inside the closet! Yeah, okay. It's a closet. It's an Atta rooster doll. The kitchen is lewd, don't you think? Why? How? Tama, are you just in a mood today? <laughs> yeah, so stream is set to mature uh, content today, so, um, and I made sure that that was highlighted, so not technically family friendly today. So we can be a little bit more naughty. Th this game is extremely horny. Ugh, I'd love to smack Ryuki's ass with that folding fan. Like, like Tama. That's why we have a jail, uh, redeem. Wonderful dream <laughs> we send her to horny jail constantly. Someday. Yeah, Date in the last game was ridiculous. Thanks, Demon. Glad to have you. Strange protrusion. Multiple strange protrusions. Alright, where are we going now? Uh, Mizutan department store, why not? Let's go. Okay, we're at the park. Oh god, this music. Ryuki, why did you come here? I thought Shoma might be here. I still need to ask him some questions. But it looks like he's not here. Looks like it. Hmm, anyway, no point in staying here. Unless you're planning on doing a ritual to summon UFOs. Maybe another time. <laughs> UFOs. Let's go somewhere else. Does the mask hurt my face? Um, it does if I leave it on too long, yeah. So that's why my streams are not more than uh, two hours. Spinning your plane ride. I won't. I even have a um, soft mask now. By the way, this is the soft mask. It's lace. Uh, is there anything else? Flower bed. Flowers are in bloom. Gate. Uh, stage? Okay, I guess we're not staying here. Uh, Brahmin World Cuisine. Cuisine. There we go. Uh, oh, it's this guy. God, he freaks oh, me out. Mame is here too. Why are you here? There's something I wanted to ask Gen. And what would that be? Why do you wear that mask? That's so creepy. Well. Um. About your phone GPS being turned off. It just ran out of battery. You're watching too much porn. <laughs> Don't you have a softer way of saying that? You're watching too much porn. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, about Tokiko. Again, do you know a woman named Tokiko Shigure? Never heard that name before. Really? Yeah. Who is this Tokiko person? The president of an ideological society called Nizet Laws. Or Nize. Nize. You mean that secret society or whatever? Obviously, it's not secret if you know about yeah. it. Yeah. It actually exists? I thought it was just an urban legend. I thought so too. So what's that got to do with the case? I explained the details of Bats 490 and the QR video to him. I told him it's highly likely that Nice made the QR video, among other things. So I tried searching through Tokiko's memories using a certain device. While I was in there, I saw you. I see. But I'm telling you, I don't know this person you're talking about. It could be someone else wearing the same mask. That doesn't sound... Not very likely. It's also possible that Tokiko knows Gen, but not the other way around. Hmm. Next victim, maybe? 
Uh, about the Nirvana Initiative. Is there anything you can tell me about the Nirvana Initiative? What is that? Is it some sort of plan? I think so. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Okay. Hiroyuki, there's something bothering me. Something is wrong with Amame. Yeah, she doesn't seem very energetic today. No, not that. Her heart rate jumped dramatically earlier. Oh? Right when she heard the words Tokiko and Nirvana Initiative. That's sus. What? Guess we got something to ask, Amame. Are you hiding something? Or wait, let's wink sink her. Dramatic pose. <laughs> That's weird. It's okay, it's okay. That's stressful. Everything will be fine. Girl, are you okay? What was that? I don't know. Yikes. Are you hiding something? Mommy, are you hiding something? Uh, about Tokiko. Do you know Tokiko? No, uh, she's not responding. Do you know something about the Nirvana Initiative? Weird. Hey, Gen. There's something I want to ask Mommy. How do you think I can get her to talk to me? Mm, let's see... Amame likes trivia, so maybe if you frame your question like a quiz? A quiz? A quiz... Normally she doesn't have any trouble talking to me. Hey, Mame. Uh, the highest mountain in the world is... The highest mountain in the world is... Mount Everest. What is the second highest mountain? K2. I wasn't asking you. <laughs> um, the price of a ball? A bat and a ball together cost 110 yen. The bat is 100 yen more expensive than the ball. So, how much does the ball cost? You would think 10 yen is the correct answer. But the, if the price of the ball is 10 yen, that would make the price of the bat 110, which would add up to 120. Therefore, the answer is 5 yen, and the bat is 105. How cheap is that? It's probably more expensive than Ryuki's bat and balls. Tama! Ugh. What kind of pan can you not cook with? Answer is simple. Ham teas. Ah, oh, come on. Last man on earth. The last man on earth heard a knock on his door. Who was it? No good, huh? The answer was a woman. Nope. That's wrong too. The answer is LGBTQ+. <laughs> You're sorely mistaken if you think there are only men and women in this world, dumbass. Represent. I guess we gotta stop questioning her. <sighs> no response. I'm at a loss. Oh, I know. Maybe if you play that song. That what song? song? One moment, please. I'll get it. Better back. not be her song. I swear if it's Iris's song from last game. Okay, it's not. She 
He's got a really nice voice. I'm not sure if it's Kissy or Iris. It is her singing. Kenny, I think I feel a bit better. That's good. Looks like Amame is back to her usual self. That's good. So let's try questioning her again. What was that song? I was going through a very painful time of my life. It was so bad that I didn't even want to go on. Then, Genny played that song from earlier. You mean he wrote it? Um, well... Yes. The title is The Flower That Blooms in Snow. He recorded it on a cassette and gave it to me as a present. Aww. That's actually that? pretty sweet. It's a portable cassette player. Are you familiar with them? This is my first time seeing one in person. That's a Vokeman, right? <laughs> Play on Walkman. I always have the cassette player on me with the tape inside. Wow, impressive. I didn't realize that not only are you a good cook, but you can write songs, too. Man of many talents. <laughs> uh, this is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Be embarrassed. I want to see you blush. Why were you feeling down earlier? It was nothing. Did you get jilted or something? Not really our business, Ryuki. No, I... I just lost 50,000 yen on Pachinko! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I want to know? Yes! Yes, Paul. Because uh, you're still wrong. You're not an idiot. Or at least not a complete one. That would definitely hurt. I can understand why she would feel down. Uh, about Tokiko. I only know her name from the internet. I just love stories about the occult and conspiracy theories. And now I know why you're friends with Iris. And when I looked up Nice, that name came up. Then what about the Nirvana Initiative? I read about that on the internet too. It was on an occult news site. Supposedly, there's some sort of sinister plan by that name. Ooh, sinister. Now we're getting somewhere. But that's all that was written about it. Really, I'm telling <coughs> the truth. Trust me. Meh. <laughs> she seems to be feeling better now. Alright. It's a picture of Ganesha, a Hindu god. Blackboard. Chair. Bokeman. So, okay. Anything else? Houseplant. Table. Try to see if there's anything else that she's gonna Don't say. Don't drink them. I know. But what if I want to? Mostly alcoholic. Guess I'm not allowed. Pineapple falling down water. <laughs> I 
I am also missing brain cells. Big stock pot. It's a walk! Um, is the restaurant doing well? It's doing all right. I can only do what I can to make my customers happy. But you don't want Matsushita Diner to show you up, right? Of course not! Are they in competition with Matsushita Diner? The Devil's Juice. Uh... You doing prep work? Yes, I'm doing prep work for tonight. I can't make the dishes in advance, so I have to start from scratch every day. Hmm. Uh, you like the warehouse district, don't you? Uh, did I say something like that before? Yeah, I think you did. I have fond memories of the warehouse district. I go there every morning and... You always stop by there after stocking up at the market, right? Do you go buy stock every morning? Yes, since I can't store meat or fish in the freezer. And the freezer in the back doesn't open anymore. Why is that? Why not? I can't find the key. The freezer is locked? Yes. Though I can still use the refrigerator, so I'm able to manage for now. I wonder if there's a body in there. Someone stole a key and locked mm. a body in there. We didn't get leads despite all that time we spent here. Neither of them had any information on Tokiko. But if that's true, why was Gen in Tokiko's Samyo? Who knows? Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's investigate somewhere else for now. More to the point, how does he see? Uh, let's go to the Harbor, Harbor Warehouse District. We haven't been there since uh, we found Iris's mom's body. Ryuki, why are we here? Remember how I said before that I like nature? The sea is also a part of nature. That's true. By the way, Tama, look over there. Who the heck is that? That's... You know them? Oh, no, not really. I've just seen them around before. Dressed kind of what? strangely, don't you think? Maybe they're coming back from a cosplay event. Sure. Excuse me. Watch them jump into the water. I'm sorry, do you have a minute? <laughs> you. Uh, why is your face upside down? Uh, do you know me? <sighs> and a voice modulator. Who are you? I don't need to tell you anything. Mizuki, is that you? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm gonna wink sink you. What's going on? What could he be plotting? Who's plotting what? Why are you dressed like that? None of your business. Okay. Kinda freaky, You're but are you? to annoy me. Would you please leave? It's a free country. I can be here if I want. Annoy you? Fine. Then I will take my leave instead. Okay. The day to take action is approaching. And I must stop the plan. Stop what? Okay. There she goes. What was she talking about? Weird. I don't know. Cosplay band, maybe? <laughs> I've never heard of a plan like that. Then maybe it's a family plan. <laughs> Whatever the case, I think it's clear that that woman isn't all there. Let's forget about it. More importantly... On to the next place, huh? It's one of those things that keep your teeth aligned. That's a retainer. Yeah, that's a container, not a retainer. Wooden box. Shipping container, crane. Wow. Looks delicious. What are you imagining? With a crane, no less. Storage. 
<laughs> Yotoda instead of Toyota. Cold storage warehouse. It says Okiura Fishery. Uh, Okiura is Mizuki's maiden name, but I think that's unrelated to this case. How do you know? Because I know! Because she knows about the old case. Pork left. Ryuki, look! There's a flock of angry, finless porpoises over there! They're probably here to protest against microplastics. <laughs> this game. Finless porpoises protesting. Okay. Uh, Yoyagi Park, let's go. True, but I've never had really an issue of my teeth being unaligned. Why are people different colors? Ryuki, you look tired. Are you okay? After all that, we haven't made any progress at all. True. It takes a toll, knowing you've wasted your time on a case like this. Why don't you rest for a bit? I plan on it. That's why I came here. This place is always therapeutic for me. Hm? Is that...? Leon. Oh god. What's he doing here? Let's go find out. It's that guy who proposed to Amame. Oh, it's you. Can I help you? What are you drinking? Oh, this? Is it non-alcoholic beer again? It's Alfrey. Non-alcoholic beer. Called it. I really love this drink. It was in that vending machine, so I got one. Uh, what are you doing? I was watching the sky. The sky? Yeah, like I told you. I've dreamed about being up in the sky since I was a little kid. I always wanted to be a pirate. A pirate of the sky? You mean pilot. Oh boy. Why are you here? I like this part. It's quiet, peace. I know the feeling. It's the perfect place to be left alone with your thoughts. I agree, but what were you thinking about? Oh, I just got a request from someone. Skyrit. <laughs> I agreed to do it on the spot, but no, I'm not sure if it was the right choice. Uh-oh. I've been wondering if I should have refused instead. What was the request? <laughs> Can't tell you that. Did you get a notice on, uh... Did you get a Nile message that you don't know who it's from? It's confidential. That's... Weird. Uh, wink sync. Wait, I thought we could only do one wink sync a day. Well, I don't know the situation exactly, but I understand what you're asking. You want to get inside that facility and take a look around. Maybe there's something there. No, I didn't see anything last time I was there. What facility? Oh well. I'll accept your request. So stop making that face, all right? Cheer up, please. Facility? I don't know. Weird. By tonight, he must have meant today. The night of the 12th, right? I would assume so. He did say he just got the request. Who did it come from? I can't tell. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. I'll be going now. Ah, uh, dang it, I didn't ask him about Nirvana. Looks like you've got a lot on your plate, but try not to overdo it. See ya. We did get some By kind way, of a Ryuki, lead, though. About the Nirvana trial. Now that you bring it up, we haven't watched the video yet. Wanna watch it? Yeah, play it. What? I'm sorry, can you please play it for me? But everyone who watched it has gone missing. Very well. Oh, it's one of the trippy videos again. Ugh. Okay. Elephant! 
Ghost Man Rob Ghost Familiar music. Uh, um, hey, <coughs> Ryuki, are you okay? Oh, um, why are you making that face? What the heck? Oh, he's doing it again. The Matrix is breaking for him. <laughs> Imagine reality breaking down every time you need to poop. It's what? nighttime now. What? It can't be. How? Why is it suddenly nighttime? Don't you know? The earth rotates toward the east, so... What was I doing all this time? You've been standing there like an NPC that froze up. Because you are an NPC. Hey, what happened? That's what I'd like to know. Weird. I watched that video and then I came to and now we're here. Uh, what time is it, Tama? 21.30. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? So it's 9.30. This is bad. We need to hurry. <sighs> Sheesh. Oh, excuse me. All right, here we are. Those are not good faces. Oh, well. No. He struck again. It can't be. Ah. This can't be happening. We have to stop this. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. You should talk to Mamaru before checking the body. Okay, um, you're the best person I have to get leads from. Uh, are there any security cameras here? Of course not. Who'd put a security camera in their own room? Is there only one way in out? Yeah, that door is the only way in or out. Um, when did you last see her? I think it was around 1400. The president got back from seeing the police, returned to this room, then... I haven't seen her <coughs> since. I'm not always in the president's office. I'm usually on standby in the room outside. I only come here when called. Tokiko has been in this room since 2 p.m.? She should have been, yeah. Huh. Has anyone entered or left the room? No one. Is it possible that someone was in there before 2 p.m.? No. I'm sure you're already aware, but the security here is incredibly tight. And yet this still happened. There are security cameras all over the stairs and corridors, along with the elevator and outside the door. It's impossible to get in without getting noticed. Ryuki, I checked the data on the security cameras. It's true that no one entered this room other than Tokiko. And no one left it either. Weird. The president informed me that you'd be here at 2200. So I let you through into this room. Then, her body... Anyway, I need to report to the people at Nye's. Very well. Please don't let anyone out of the building. Got it. How 
to this happen? If I wish to do so, I can resurrect myself. Well then resurrect yourself. One thing is for sure. Ryuki, look around the room. No traces of blood. In other words, Tokiko wasn't killed here. The culprit must have been Terror. He killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought her right half here. But how did he get in the room? We don't know how he left either. What about the pond? What how if he's still function? in this room? No, that's not possible. I checked with X-ray vision. No sign of anyone and no biological responses detected. Then he had to have escaped somehow. Maybe there's a secret passage? I suspect the culprit's escape route and way in were the same. So, Ryuki, let's look into finding the escape route first. We should know how the culprit got in once we learn how they got out. Okay, let's investigate. Yes, let's investigate. <coughs> Before we begin, I want to point <clears throat> something out. The side with the window is the south. Okay. And the waterfall is to the north. I know that. Why are you mentioning it? Shut your mouth! It'd be a pain in the ass if we didn't know which way was which! You should be grateful I told you! <laughs> okay. Okay. Why are you angry? Just zip it and get working, alright? Temper, temper. Virtual reality activation. Alright. There is electromagnetic noise coming from somewhere in the wall. Uh, Northwest statue. Unusual reaction of infrared light. It's a wall. The room is inorganic as a whole, so this really stands out. Front, front of the desk. Desktop. As I mentioned before, there are no traces of blood in the room. Odd parts are buried inside the desk? Not on this desk, the walls, or the floor. Terror killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought the right half of her body to this room. Chair? If you spin this around, a secret staircase from the floor won't appear. Okay. Rude. Corpse. It's Tokiko's right half. Just like before, it's been severed at the molecular level. The body appears to have been cut with the same instrument. And she was also bisected while she was still alive. Ugh. So why isn't there blood everywhere? In other words, it's highly likely that it was the same killer. Yes, that's why I said Terror is probably the culprit. The estimated time of death is approximately three hours ago, which would be around 1900 today. Oof. That's when we were at Yoyagi Park. All right, estimated time of death and culprit. A uh, glass doll. Shattered glass doll, I don't think it's relevant. Could be irrelevant. There's some mark left inside the corpse. Okay. It's a wall. Looks like the statue Southeast is made of statue. iron. Metal iron. Or er, metal iron. Metal statue. Manupul X. Just going through all this different stuff and then I'm gonna start switching modes. This statue is iron too. It's a wall. And it's a waterfall. Alright. Um let's see. X-ray. A 
a hidden passageway behind it? There is a hidden passage. Or passageway. <laughs> Probably not. Doesn't seem like there's anything suspicious there. There is a spot unnaturally producing heat. And there's an unusual reaction of matter somewhere below the floor. Interesting. There's something coming out of it. Oh, interesting. It's an infrared laser. Normally it wouldn't be visible, even with thermo mode. But this place is full of water particles. Light hits the water particles and disperses, making it visible to the human eye. Like the light is the shining wall. toward the northeast. It's crossing the pond in a diagonal line. Okay, interesting. An infrared laser is coming out of the statue, too. It's crossing with that other beam. This one's shooting toward the southeast. There's an arrow under the symbol. And seven squares, too. Interesting. If you detected it with thermal mode, does that mean it's emitting heat? It must have a heating wire or something embedded in it. Okay. A natural reaction of matter below the floor. But we can't see it with this. Desk front. What's this? That's interesting. They are metal plates shaped like numbers embedded in the board at the front of the desk. So you're able to see them by using X-ray like this. It's as if this oh, was boy, a just puzzle. for us. Who would do something like this? Probably it's a key Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's focus on the investigation. Sixteen numbers in a diamond shape. Okay. Corpse. Hmm. Is this? What is it? Inside Tokiko's womb. There are traces of her having given birth. Okay. What? Though it wasn't recently. It has to have been more than 20 years ago. I'm not sure that you would see that with an X ray mode. Tokiko has a grown child? Yes, but there are no records of this anywhere in her family register. She hasn't filed birth registration, and there aren't any records of it in any medical institutions in Japan. Calling it now again is uh, her son. Just bet you. I bet you that's why she knows him, but he doesn't know her. A natural reaction of matter somewhere below the floor. Okay. Uh, below which floor? Oh, there we go. There's something in the floor. Maybe it's a rail? It's embedded in the floor. The statue moves. This is probably an electromagnetic rail. It extends from the corner of the statue toward the pond. But the statue moves so that it intersects with the beam. Electromagnetic noise coming from somewhere in the wall. All the walls again. An 
teach mode, I guess. Give me one more second. We get everything here. Chair desktop. Oh, light? Light's hanging from the ceiling. Seems to be something bigger. What's your thought, Tiz? Oh wait, did we already get this one? The same kind of rail is over here too. It's even going toward the same direction. Yeah, that took care of one of them. Got that and the corpse. We already look at this. There's something embedded in the wall. Oh, never mind, I got it. It's a keypad for a pin code. But this frame is on there tight. It won't budge. Maybe there's some way to move it. I bet you if you move the statues so that they match. All right, looks like we've investigated what we could for now. If you move the statues to catch the beams, they'll redirect the beams to hit that panel, maybe? Now, let's get to solving the mystery. How did the culprit get out of the room? That's what you're talking about, right? Yes, so let's begin. The first thing that comes to mind is that rail under the floor. The electromagnetic rail. The rail leads from the statue toward the pond. Yeah. Do you think the statue moves along the rail? Yes, that's what I think. It's made of iron, so maybe it's pulled with an electromagnet. It's probably operated with a remote control or something. She also has tits. But I didn't find anything like that. Then, please. Um. Use magnet? Or, no, let's. What's gonna be the funniest tree version? Yeah, plushies with boobs are weird. Um. Hello! Come out, remote! <laughs> I won't leave you alone anymore, so come on out! <laughs> Ryuki, are you okay? Oh, she's genuinely concerned. Uh, why do remotes go missing all the time? <laughs> no matter how many times you find them, they vanish within seconds. I wasn't brought into this world just to look for remotes! L let's calm down for a minute. You must have had a rough childhood. Aww. Take a deep breath. We can forget about the remote for now. Use force? Yes, we have no other choice. So, let's get right to it. No, wait, don't actually move it until we're shooting. What do you mean? I mean when we actually record this with the camera and complete the film. Why are you like this? Okay. Quiet! I'm the director, so you follow my instructions or I'll fire you! <laughs> the heck? This statue is the same as the one we saw earlier. 
The underground rail leads toward the pond. Which means... <laughs> Lubricate floor. Tilt building. Give up. If you make the floor slippery, I'm sure it'll move on its own. If that's your best idea, why don't I cover your whole body in motion and drag you? Drag me, mommy. <laughs> tilt building. All right. Let's tilt this building somehow. What? Isn't it obvious? Objects move from <laughs> high places to low places. If we make that statue's position higher, it'll naturally slide toward the pond. Do you build an airport every time you need to go to the convenience store? Give up. It's no good. <laughs> Let's just give up. Gonna take a drink. Where is this coming from? Well, there's this game I played a long time ago. And there was this part where you couldn't advance until you chose give up on the investigation. And this is your best idea? Oof. Guess we'll use force. Well, there's not much else we can do. So, let's get right to it. <clears throat> you little shit! Don't make me send you back to the green room, damn it! Oh, right. We were still in rehearsal. I'm not supposed to move it until the shoot. Yes, we don't want this important set to get damaged, right? This is a set? There was an input device behind this. You already know the numbers to enter, right? Hmm. Even if I did, I would need to be able to move the frame. That's not what I asked! Do you know the code or not? In fact, I need you to know the answer! You can't even solve oh, this! Geez. You don't deserve to call yourself a member of Abyss! So, can you tell me the numbers? It should be seven digits. Uh... What? You're telling me you don't know? No, that's not what I meant. Then spit it out already! Quit screwing around! <laughs> you okay. saw the non equal X symbol using thermal mode, didn't you? Uh, yeah? And... There were 16 numbers arranged in a diamond shape. You should be able to use those numbers to figure out the answer. How? The four across and four diagonal. Now, try again. Yeah, this doesn't help me, guys. <laughs> Sixteen numbers in a diamond shape, combining those. Symbols and numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Oh, wait. One plus four three times one is three times three is six. Four plus six is ten. Ten zero. Well, isn't four times zero zero though? Because you can't multiply with zero. Four times five is twenty. Wouldn't that just be zero, though? 
We're doing, are we doing order of operations? Or are we just doing one, four, six? I don't know what this would be, nine? One, four, six, nine, six, four, one. Let's try that. I'm gonna write it down. One, four, six, nine, six, four. I think nine was wrong. Or did 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 I input it incorrectly? Do the boxes have any relevance? What boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. the amount of numbers, so for the code, I guess. Oh, four. Maybe it might be vertical versus horizontal. So four, three times three is nine. Or is it addition? I don't know. Let's try addition first. Three, four, six, four, 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 six, five. So four, six. Four, 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 six, five. Nope. Okay. So let's try four, nine, four, one, four, nine, five. Four, nine, four, one, four, nine, five. <sighs> okay. I'm getting stumped. Or did I did I input it wrong again? Did I? Which part? Zero. Right? Because you can't multiply two times zero? Oh, so it'd be... Zero times two is still zero. So four, nine, zero. One times one is one, one times one is one, one times one is one. Um, and then that would be zero again, nine, and five.
Yep, yeah, good job! That's probably- Finally! Probably. I mean, it's not like I actually checked. I don't know whether those numbers are correct or not. Bloody math. At least we figured it out without having to look it up. Okay, the rehearsal is now over. It's time to start. Are you- Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to start filming. Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. The one who placed the right half of Tokiko's severed body here. You just finished a big job. You need to get out of here, fast. But if you leave the conventional way, you'll be spotted by the surveillance camera. Okay. Same thing for when you entered, too. The culprit used some special method to get in and out of the room. Now, I want you to consider the situation, and whatever you might be feeling, use it for your performance. <laughs> okay. Hey, is it really necessary to act... Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Ready? Action! I'm the one who killed Tokiko Shigure. I brought the body here for some reason. Now that I'm done here, I'm gonna leave. This is the superhero music from when Oto was being a superhero. Terrible acting, as usual. <laughs> Give me a break. Okay. What did the culprit do first to escape? Well... There's that electromagnetic rail in the floor leading to the pond. It pulls the iron statue with magnetic force. The culprit probably used a remote control, but I can't find it, so... I'll try forcing it! Oh, that's working. Oh. It's because it touched the infrared laser from the Southwest statue. Uh, something happened. There we go. Okay, so the statue was moved so it would hit the laser. What did the culprit do next? Move the other statue. It must have also moved this statue with a remote. Okay, go. Um... The statue begins moving via the electromagnets. The culprit grins maniacally, his plan in motion. Stop! Hmm? Can you not read the stage directions out loud? You're supposed to play the part of the culprit. But what's the point of... Don't talk back to the director! Don't make me throw a fucking ashtray at you! Jeez, abusive. Oh no! I need to hurry, or someone's gonna see me! Hurry! Hurry! Move! Move already! Good, Ryuki! That's it! That's the performance I wanted to see! <laughs> but like I said, the culprit probably had a remote! It's fine. This scene is where we show the screaming of the culprit's tortured heart in monologue. <laughs> Uh-huh. Alright. This statue reacted to the laser, too. Oh. I see. So this is how it works. So I just need to enter the number from earlier, right? Four nine zero one zero nine five. There. Oh my. I knew there was something behind the waterfall. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Look! Secret tunnel! <laughs> A hidden door. Hidden elevator. Interesting. 
It's more than a hidden door. It's an elevator. See? There's a button pointing down next to the door. Interesting. This is the highest floor of the building. It looks like this elevator is only for going down. Let's try pushing it. Okie dokie. Boink. I guess we're just going. No need to tell Mamaru. Mamaru. Terror's escape route. And the way he got in. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. And he must have used the same method to get out. Excuse me. The statue and Nanyapul X symbol must have been set up to return to their original positions automatically. Anyway. Let's go down there. Let's do it. I'm aware. I'm trying to get us to a safe point. What is this place? Oh my. Uh Well. It looks like we tunneled to the other side of the world. This is very interesting. You mean we're underground? Yeah, more than 160 feet deep. Whoa. Radio waves are completely cut off due to the depth. We can't connect to the network, so keep that in mind. That's not good. So, uh, if we need help, we're kind of out of luck. I estimate the depth by calculating the acceleration and time spent in the elevator. Thank you, Tama. Anyway, let's start looking around. Maybe we'll find some sort of clue. Alright. Time to save. Yes. And we are going to go ahead and take a break. Very short break, maybe not even five minutes, but uh, we will take a break. Alright, let's start looking for clues. Uh, ritual platform. This is kind of creepy. No kidding. Maybe it's a pedestal for performing some sort of ritual. Like offering a sacrifice. It's not an ironing board, that's for sure. Is it a cutting board? Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... It's definitely got some cold vibes going on. Definitely got a cold. Those plates must be immaculate. Uh, there's a box. Let's look at it. What is this box? I don't know. The jewel box from Urashima Tara? That one was at the bottom of the ocean. Isn't that a, uh, um, reference to an anime? That there's a beautiful princess here, right? Wait, no. Ushimaro T Taro was the uh, Japanese story about the guy who goes to the... Like, he saves a turtle? And he meets the princess of the sea or something. Where? I'll kick your ass! And time moves differently in that kingdom, so like when he comes back, it's like a hundred years later. Sorry. What's this? It's mechanical. Some sort of device, maybe? Looks kind of like a microphone. Can't you analyze it? Not from here, no. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. Okay. You mean it's safe to open? Sure, we'll go with that. Probably. <clears throat> That's sand? Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. Sand coming from the ceiling. Pillar is holding up the ceiling. Elevator. 
He's down to the president's office. Uh, brazier. No brazier. Bring torches. Strange device. What else can we look at? What have I missed? There's something over there. But I can't get a good look at it. Oh, hello. A nice symbol here, too. The Nonable X. Guess that's the last thing I had to look at. Don't tell me you're going to open it. Yeah. What else can we do? Maybe you shouldn't. Scared a cat? Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. I did add probably. Still, we can't just not check it. What is this, Pandora's box? You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? Tama! There is so much wrong with that statement, but yes, that's the idea. Hmm? What was that sound? Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. They're somewhere close. Where? Oh, hello. What? What the? What? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway, um. Hey, That's weird. Freeze. It released a gas. What is this? Just bet you. That his sound was a release of gas of some sort. Ryuki, there's a torch coming down from above! Uh, nope. There's another one! Nope. Damn it! Uh. <laughs> I'm glad I put it on story mode. I would have missed those. Oh, jeez. I mean, yeah, catching on fire might have been fun, but I don't want to deal with a fail state. Not right now. Uh oh. Farewell. February 13th, Ryuki, Chapter 3, R2. Abyss HQ. How did we get back to Abyss? Boss! I apologize for yesterday! What? Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I'm very confused. I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please, give me another chance. <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Uh... Your daughter? I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. No, you don't. <laughs> I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. 
My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> okay, uh, we see. I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher ups too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Okay. Show motivation. It's all right now! Because I am here! Half might! Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is, I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look. You realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? What mistake? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. By falling to my almost death? I... I... can't just stop now! I should be able to handle this better than anyone! Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip-up. Oh, true. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. Uh, anything about the investigation? Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. Okay. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick, and they might end up calling you the half-brain investigator. Oof. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. Rude. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Oof. What? <clears throat> this is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Ryuki... Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! Oh, and... The communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. That's really not cool. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki. I'd say. Are you okay, Ryuki? Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted. Me. You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. I can't believe I was told this today. Of all days. What's today? Uh, about today. Today was the day. I lost my other half. Oh. I pulled out a broken watch from my pocket. This! 
Thanks for the 100 bits. I had a younger twin brother. Oh. What do you want to bet that the twin is uh, going to be the guy who's behind all of this? And that's why it's a half body murders. He had a strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close, and we hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, six years ago... Six years ago! My brother and I were in the city, and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away, so my brother tried to stop him, and he ended up in front of it, and... Ooh... Ooh. He got run over. That's... that's no good. Crushed hey. half his body. What? Crushed half his body? This is the watch he was wearing. That's pretty specific. His time has been frozen since, and I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Ruki, are you sure you're not the one who's the perpetrator for all this? Today was the day. Maybe you just went, like, completely insane and you're doing stuff and you don't know it? But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. Yeah, that's true. Tama would know, but nothing's being backed up to the server right now. I hate that criminal. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Then... are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Yeah. You're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream <coughs> of being a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. Yeah, One your of my eye. eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball. Me. The surgery was last summer, right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way, but thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Yuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother... I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? <laughs> yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. What about Shoma? We weren't able to find him. Um... About Chikara. Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too. Rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Ugh, okay. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. 
This happened nine years ago. Not six years ago? During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds. Okay. Which was provided by Riti Chieda. Who's that? Kizuna Chieda's father. Oh. That's interesting. Riji Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. Hmm. Okay. Well... Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Okay. Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Sure. Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. The building also has a small recording studio. All right. I'll see you there later. Okay. Thank you. What bothers you about Shoma? The location indicated in the hidden message in Bats 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said. Right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. Oh, he lied. Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. I mean, I'd turn my smartphone off if I knew that you were tracking me. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Okay, so he's probably up on the Ferris wheel. Nyoen? Oops. Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen? Misatan? And the third is Lemnusgate. Three locations again. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Mama the Informant. That's a new outfit, Mama. You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Iowan. Mama is a good egg. Huh? Ryuki, why are you here? To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing. And it energizes me. Aww. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? Eh, slightly. <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. Okay. Uh, shouldn't you be in school? School's closed because of the flu. It's, it's always closed for something. We won't have classes for a while. Then aren't you supposed to stay at home? A certain freeloader is at home all the time because he's on vacation. Oh, that's where Date is. It was so annoying. I had to get outside. Huh. <laughs> she must mean Mr. Date. Young girls have wills of their own. 
Um, how are you? It's all right now, because I am here, Half Might. Well, what? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. <laughs> but I'm always like this. Yeah, she's got RBF. So now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Wait, where are you looking, perv? <laughs> huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. To... Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. Yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. To what? Looking around curiously. Can't even imagine to begin her... Er, can't even begin to imagine her taking care of children. But she'll kick me if I say that, so I'll keep it to oh, myself. Oh, so you wanna get kicked! Your thoughts are written all over your face. <laughs> Why do you call her a big sis? Ah, uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? <laughs> is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. Uh, you're close with Mr. Date, huh? Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals. Or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. Not really. It still weirds me out. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. Yep. <laughs> that old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic moment. Bet of a man. So, what is it you wish to discuss? F father. And who is this? Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. Uh, you're so I, I presume? An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowan and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an aunt to him. Hmm. Do you know about the case? Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Okay. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Okay. Ugh. That kind of person, huh? Um, about your relationship with Chikara. Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite, well, an eccentric individual. And I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. 
It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gain nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Wow, you jump to conclusions fast. Seriously, what is up with this guy? If only he didn't have so much authority, we could pin something on him and book him. Well, hold on now. Achikara. I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? Explain the information about Chikara that Tama had obtained. Of the dubious research that he'd been conducting about human experiments and his research facility was forced to shut down nine years ago. Along with the fact that he disappeared in order to be, uh, avoid being investigated. And that the current research institute was built after the heat from that incident had burnt did down. Did you know all of this? settled down. I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. Okay. Why did you decide to fund it? The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. To you? Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Shikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. <coughs> it's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues. And I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that Research Institute could bring us. Okay. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. His only daughter is completely healthy, and his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. Huh. Okay. About Jin. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. Okay. About Takiko. Who's that? The president of Nye's Japan. Nye's? I'm not familiar. <laughs> I've never even heard of it. Okay. Do you have an alibi? What were you doing two days ago? February 11th, around 8 p.m. And on February 9th, at 6 a.m. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. It's just procedure, sir. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. Okay. Good, he has nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? That's not what it says. Fist time. Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Okay. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. That's weird. Um, we're gonna wink sink him first. No matter how much wealth you have, there is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. 
Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. Okay. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. Yes. I will never forget. Okay. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved. And the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. I'm sorry. As the chairman, Any I more take full information about that? But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? That explains why he's very anti police. After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. And you feel that you, you got let down. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. Makes sense why he'd have a chip on his shoulder for that. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Especially if you were super attached to the child. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time, I think. I'll be going now. Father! Uh, what? Um... Please! Let me marry your daughter! Uh, I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! So please, please, give me permission to marry your daughter! Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. Wait! Wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushima <laughs> Diner <laughs> two days ago! <laughs> Just burn him. A stranger. You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow! That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood! <laughs> I don't think he was being literal. No job, no education, no manners. Hi, Saint Dreamer 93 Mizuki is the best girl. She really is. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. But you still act like you're intoxicated, though, so... And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. I'd make a twenty. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter! That's not the point. In any case, stay away from my daughter. Though it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. She's already rejected him like twice. Uh, wait! Just a non stop storm of no thank yous. Gizzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. <laughs> Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. This core, huh? We meet again. Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. No. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. Rude. I think that's actually a good place to... Uh, find a stopping point because it is almost time for stream to end so I'm going to go ahead and make a save I'm going to check out Tama's room see if we've got any new outfits don't be so stiff come a little closer um okay it's fine this white part? Come! I- 
We have light this mode. This white part. You can paint it whatever color you want. So the outfit. Oh, it's... It's a Ooh. mask that makes you want to run a death game for nine people. <laughs> <laughs> I know the reference. I know that reference. Uh, and I can't really explain that because, like, that requires knowledge of another game. That I really want to play at some point. Uh, it's... it's it's referring to the, um, the... Words are hard. The, um, yeah, nonary games. Good. Nonary games. It's a mask that makes you want to... Uh, body. <laughs> Don't have a costume. I'm gonna leave it as that. Uh, life advice? No one really talks about what they saw on TV last night. No one night. really talks with their friends about what they saw on TV last night anymore, huh? Even if they did, we don't have friends anyway. The bonus menu? I'll dress up the way you like. Bonus menu? Where's the bonus menu? Oh, bonus. I'd have to pull it up from the title screen. Oh, geez. That looks like a happy Chikara thing. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be much else. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Oh wait, Alpha. Nothing yet. Good to see Iba, though. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and exit that. Put some music on. Yeah, we haven't played as Mizuki in a while. It's been a hot minute. But, uh... I don't know when, um, oh, kitty is being very cute. I don't know when the last time we've played as Mizuki was been. It's, it's been, like, at least a couple of weeks that, uh, it's just been nonstop Riki, but, um, I guess that's just how it goes. But anyways, um... I think we will be streaming again on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, I have a couple of ideas of what I want to stream, but I haven't made that decision just yet. Um, as always, what I am streaming, and if I am streaming, will be posted on my Twitter, which you can find that here via my socials links. And... Um, uh, if it'll trigger. Social. I guess my trigger isn't working. That's weird. Oh well. Um, but anyways, uh, just look up Alabaster Girl 93 on Twitter if you aren't already following. And um, we will be back to AI Somnium Files next Saturday as well. So I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the game. And um, when you get to it, 
Have a great rest of your weekend and stick around for the raid to the next streamer. Bye-bye, my friends. <laughs>